so let's go welcome to my coding channel coding learner so this is the first tutorial lecture number 15 in this video we will learn about how we code the multi multi-level inheritance and hierarchical inheritance now we have to move forward so first we have to do is hierarchical inheritance so what is hierarchical inheritance is we having a one parent class and we have more than two child class so we are inherited the properties of one parent class into more than two child class so that's it about hierarchical inheritance so what we are doing here we have we create class a as a parent class and we are create a protected specifier in it we have to initialize our int a or declare our variable a and in public we take the value of a void get a int x assign the value of x to a that's it about our class a now we have to drive our class b uh, by using public specifier we create our inherit now we are in public section and in there we have a one member function name as square which prints the square of our a or a variable a so the a will be inherited from class a so now we have to do is we have to need declare class c and in class c we have to write public specifier and we are take a class a as a parent class and we have public specifier so in public specifier we have void q function which prints our cube of a okay i just forget to write semicolon now we have to create our object so first we have to create for class b name as ob obj1 and by obj1 we are calling get function get e and we are need to put here the value or a argument now we have another class name as c so let's take the object as obj2 and we having obj2 dot get a and we write here let take three as an argument we have to pass the int type argument here now the square function is present in our class b so let's time to call it's time to call it and similarly we have our q function in class c let's take s q let's see what we get okay fine so that's it we got 4 as a square of a a and 27 as a square of a a first we have to take is 2 and then we are taking 3 so that's why we have 27 as a cube of 3 so now we have to do is multi-level inheritance so what is multi-level inheritance there are three class suppose class a class b and class c so class a prop a's property is inherited to class b it means that for b parent class is a 
and the properties of B is inherited to the class C. So it means that the class C contains the properties of A or properties of class B. It means that the class A is our base class and class B is intermediate base class and our class C is drive class. So all the properties of A, class A and class B carries it inherited to our class C. So let's code it to get more idea what we are doing here. First we have class A which is our base class. We are need to write here protected section which contain the role number of a student int type and we have public function in public function we are take the value of role number from the users. So let's take it x. Now we have to assign our role number to our x so that's it about our class A which is our base class. Now we have to do is we having one more class which is intermediate base class. It takes uh, it take the properties of the class B publicly, class A publicly. Now we have to move forward. There is a protected section and it contains two float value name as M1 and M2. So let's take a public section here we take the value of m1 and m2 from the user so get max we have to need a float value here float x and y now we are need to now we are need to assign the value of m1 as x and m2 is equals to y now we are doing here we need to if we want to print the value of m1 and m2 we having a void function display and we are its name as display marks so we have out statement here which gives our marks one value as m1 and we have end line Okay, fine. I print the am in the wrong way. So that's it. Now we have here am2, the marks 2. So that's it about our class B. Now we have to do is to declare our class C. We are in inherit the properties of class B into our class C. So that's it about. Now we have let's take total variable here. We have public section of class C which is our drive class. Now in class C we have a void display function. So first it's print our rule number so write it display what's the name is it display r and okay i found an error here class why we are so what is the reason behind this error we are forget to write our function void display rn which needs to print our out statement here roll number break line so that's it about our class a now we are need to display our class display our mask max now we are need to display our total max which is total and we have total here and line break so first we have to assign the value of total which is m1 plus m2 okay that's it about our total 
now we are need to call our function here so let's take our class c object as objc so for objc we have get what we are name here get rn okay fine we have see here semicolon over here now we are need to display r first we are need to assign the value of rule number so what is the name of the function is get rn get rn let's take as 101 and we have objc where we have get marks let's take 89 and 67 they are in the float form now we are need to display our data so we are using obj dot display function which display our data now it's time to run okay this is what we get we get our desired value first we are need to print our roll number so that's why we having the roll number then the marks we having 89 and 67 now we having total as 156